here we are in MX with an empty repository. So I check my warehouses to make sure they're empty. My units are also empty. And in my pop movement creation, if I'm looking into my different parts, here my pop-up is empty because I have no parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my data import and export and I'm going to create a new page and then I'm going to import the connector configuration from my settings. Just so and so the bodies here have to be correct and I also need to go into my communication settings and fill out the correct password for this. And I'm going to save that immediately. What we can see down here is that the actions have filled out correctly, have nine new actions. And right now I'm going to run the first synchronization between MX and Business Central. So flipping on over to Business Central, I want to consult a reference for the parts catalog. And here I'm going to choose to look at this chair here, so the Mexico chair. I'm going into more information about this item. And what I really want to see are the items by location. So here I can see where the items are kept in which warehouses is kept in the East warehouse and also the West warehouse in the East warehouse. There are two. So coming back into MX, what we can see here is that the warehouses have filled out and the units have filled out with the same information, the same data that we can see in business central. So say I want to create a part movement. I'm going to remove a part. I'm going to use a part in MX. Right. And so here I have my Mexico chair that I can see here and I'm going to select it. I'm going to choose the East warehouse and I'm only going to remove one chair. So MX is using one chair and here I'm going to save this movement in MX. Next, moving back to my import exports. I'm going to run the synchronization again between MX and Business Central. This is done automatically, but here I am exceptionally doing it manually. And so going back into Business Central, what I want to make sure is if the connection was made correctly and if the information is updated, I can see that in my item journal. Here the information was updated and the screen is filled in automatically. And now going back into my items, I'm going to look for my Mexico chair again. Here it is. And back into information about the item. And again, by location, just to make sure that the stock was correctly updated. And as we can see here, it was the warehouse East has only one chair left, which means that the movement from MX was been, has been taken into account in Business Central and here we can see the document number, we can see the movement uh, from MX is visible in Business Central.